My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, my name's Jeff Makarevich and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today we're going all the way to the Mediterranean and we're making this delicious Mediterranean halibut and I'm pairing it with this Greek white wine that I was just introduced to, Mashka Filaro, that you will love. Let's get started. When we think about Mediterranean food, we think about all these fresh vegetables, right? right here, full of colors. We're starting with cherry tomatoes, uh, heirloom ones, and I have some fresh oregano and fennel that I'm doing. Now these cherry tomatoes, when they're, when actually they're, we're gonna cook them, I like to slice them in half, because it's almost like it lets them release their juices a little bit. So I'll get through that and do all that. We have some Kalamata olives, we have some artichokes, Mediterranean diet, the artichoke hearts. And here I got a sweet and spicy picante pepper. You can find right in the jarred aisles. They're really, really delicious and go awesome in here. I will slice up the shallot, but a tip on garlic too. I didn't know if you ever knew. Um, I want the garlic to be a little less on the, I'm um, on the mild side. So you want to slice your garlic for this recipe. I did not, I don't know if you knew, but anytime you mince garlic and say, break it down more instead of a slice, it actually becomes more potent. When you slice it like this, it's less potent and it will blend perfect in here. Let me finish cutting everything up. I like to pour this sauce over some crusty old French bread. I'm gonna cut up here some cubes. I'm first gonna slice them up like this, very rustic cuts, and then I'll drizzle them with some olive oil and roast them in the oven with our halibut. Let's get started on this easy sauce. In the pan here, I have some olive oil. And to that, we're gonna add our shallots that we diced up pretty finely. And to that, we are gonna add our sliced garlic. And don't worry, the garlic is not gonna burn. We're only gonna do this no more than two minutes. Uh, this is on a medium heat, not on a medium high heat. So we're just gonna let this saute here about a minute to two minutes, no longer than that before we hit it with some of our white wine. The shallots and garlic have become translucent. I'm gonna turn up the burner to a high heat uh, and then I'm gonna add a half a cup of our dry white wine to that. Now, if you don't like to cook with wine, I completely understand. Say you want, do not want to skip this step. Uh, you can. What I would do is I would squeeze in uh, half of lemon juice. So half of a lemon, I should say, some fresh lemon juice. But you don't need to crank up the burner on that. I'm burning out the alcohol on this is what I'm doing. And, uh, and that does that really, really, really fast. So that is already done. I'm gonna turn this back down to a medium heat. And then I'm gonna add some tomato sauce uh, and our heirloom cherry tomatoes are going in. Now what you wanna do with them right away is you wanna give it some nice salt so they can release all their juices. Uh, so some salt and pepper going right in. Perfect, and let's give that a stir. And that'll just give 
the actual cherry tomatoes a chance to release all their delicious juices into the sauce. So that is going on, and this is gonna go so fast. And right now we have the oven set at 400 degrees, because this is gonna transfer into the oven with the actual fish itself. Okay, now we're just gonna add the rest of our ingredients. Our Kalamata olives are going in. Oh, you know I love Kalamata olives, right? Our artichokes, which I just cut in half, the artichoke hearts. And here is our sweet, and spicy uh, picante peppers. That's uh, your choice which ones you'd like to use. And we're just gonna let this simmer for one minute. A uh, few minutes, but it will cook in the oven, just so you know. And let's let that go. And in the meantime, let's get our fish ready and we're gonna dump our spices in there too. I have some beautiful fresh halibut fillets and I am going to drizzle these with olive oil and put salt and pepper on them on both sides. And you are welcome to use different type of fish, obviously. Uh, halibut, uh, we get here fresh in the Pacific coast, but they also have an Atlantic halibut also. And um, if you can't find that, you can also use cod, so salt and pepper on both sides. Cod uh, would be a great uh, option in this too. If you're in the Mediterranean, obviously a Mediterranean sea bass would just be wonderful in this. And uh, if you're on the East Coast in the, in the South, uh, a grouper would be nice on this too. So we very simple, very simple olive oil and salt and pepper, that is it, because all the flavor is coming from that sauce. Now just drizzle your crusty uh, bread here with a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. You don't want to soak it because you don't want the bread soggy. And just a little bit of salt, it's that simple. And uh, toss it around a little bit. And we will put this in the oven for just a few minutes, but we'll have it go in the same time is our fish. We want to have that ready. Now that we have our halibut ready, let's add our fresh herbs. I'm adding fennel. You think Mediterranean? Fennel, definitely. And some fresh oregano that you saw. Just a few leaves, no more than a teaspoon. Fresh oregano is very, very potent. So you want to go light on that. Um, and let's just stir those fresh herbs right in here. Now, uh, you only wanted to be simmering this sauce no more than a few minutes, maybe two, three minutes tops. And then we're gonna lay our fish right down in here. The reason why is because it's gonna bake in the oven also now for about 10 minutes with the fish. Uh, and we want to keep the cherry tomatoes intact uh, instead of them, you know, falling to pieces. So let's get this down in here there we go we got our halibut nice nicely down in there now if you want to you could spoon a little bit of the sauce on top that's up to you and let's get my ovens open i'm gonna put first in the bread i'm gonna pull that bread out in a few minutes and uh because we don't want it to be in there the entire time the fish is in there. The fish will probably go for about 10 minutes. That is depending on the size of your fish fillets. Now, halibut is not very forgiving. It's a very, very lean fish. So you wanna check it in 10 minutes and if it flakes apart, that is perfect because you definitely don't wanna overcook it. I'm very excited about today's wine. It's a Greek wine, Moshka Filaro. It's actually new to me myself also, so I'm very excited about this. Right off the bat, I'm getting a ton of floral and fruit notes. Roses with like citrus of like mandarin orange. Mmm. Wow. 
Definitely getting the mandarin orange on the tongue with a little bit of peach. And very dry, crisp. It's going to go perfect with this baked halibut. You're going to fall in love with this wine. It definitely does smell like the Mediterranean here. I got to check this halibut. Wow. This just looks amazing. Take a look at that. Wow. That halibut is done. I'm ready to plate up. Pour that sauce over those toasty French baguettes and dig in. Before I try, I would first like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes. And don't forget to like and share and ring that bell because that notifies you that I have a new recipe and guaranteed I have one every Tuesday. But I'm putting my wine down. I am digging in for this. This is gonna be amazing. Look how flaky, moist, and delicious this halibut is. Oh. Mm. Wow. That is amazing. And that sauce, just so you know, I've been sampling. Okay. I got to have a piece of one of these crunchy breads. So I'm going to go for it. It's a huge piece. So you know what? I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to stuff this in my mouth and I'm not going to be able to talk afterwards. So thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff. And we'll see you next week.